Kind of a shorter video today, we are looking at the 1937 silver Walking Liberty half dollar and what these coins have sold for at auction. So if you guys have any half dollar coins, definitely watch this whole video. We'll show you guys the different coin prices based on condition and a couple things you can look for on your Walking Liberty half dollars that can give them some value. So welcome back to Couch Collectibles. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. As always, let's just hop into this one. All right, starting off first with the 1937 D mint mark all right so for this coin if we go to the reverse you zoom in there towards the left bottom of the coin you'll see that d mint mark kind of a weird placement for a mint mark i have always thought on the walking liberty half dollar but i love the designs especially the eagle man uh these are one of my favorite coin designs ever uh from the united states uh, but this is 1937 D mint mark. It's a very, very high grade. The coin is in excellent condition, graded by NGC at a mint state 68. That is where all the value is from. That's why the coin sold for $21,000 at auction. You know, had this coin been in very bad condition, it would not have sold for that price. And that's what we're going to look at on this next coin. This is also a 1937 D mint mark Walking Liberty half dollar coin. However, this coin is only graded at an XF45. So we go from a 68 grade to a 45, and this coin only sold for around $40 at auction. Big difference in values based on the condition. So for the Mint State 68 that sold for 21,000, if there's only one or two of those that exist in that grade, that is what's going uh, to bring up the demand for the coin and of course the value of the coin. You know, there's tons of these at an XF45, not rare to have in this condition. Now this next coin here is a mint error. This is super rare here. 1937 Walking Liberty half dollar graded by PCGS at an AU58. The coin has been double struck and rotated in collars. So you can see that design double struck and rotated of course. This coin ended up selling for $575 at auction. Now here's a 1937 no mint mark. So it will not have a mint mark on the reverse of the coin. We will have a D mint mark, a no mint mark, and an S mint mark. We'll look at the S mint mark next. But this is the no mint mark that is graded by PCGS at a mint state 68. Again, all of the value is in the grade, the condition itself. And that's why this coin sold for $35,000 at auction. If we compare it to another 1937 no mint mark that is graded at an AU58, still pretty good grade for this coin. This coin sold for $155. You know, had this been an XF45 like the other coin, it wouldn't even have sold for 100 bucks, right? Um, so big difference in values there based on the grades. Now here is the 1937 S mint mark. So if we go to the reverse of this coin, again, zoom in there, you will see that S mint mark. Now this coin is graded at a mint state 67 plus by PCGS. This coin ended up selling for $19,000. Once again, you guessed it, all because of that grade, that condition. And again, if we compare it to another 1937S half dollar, this coin graded by NGC at an AU58 sold for around $250. Big difference from $250 to $19,000. Um, so if you guys inherit coin collections, uh, you know, and you have a bunch of silver coins and you don't know what to do with them, you definitely need to uh, look up the mintages, see if it's a key date, uh, you know, consider the conditions, look up, you know, the grade populations on different coins and things like that. That will definitely help you uh, determine if you should get a coin graded or not. Uh, but man, big difference there, 250 to 19,000. Now for the 1937S, we also have a little uh, mint error here. This is a minor lamination. You can see that here on the obverse of the coin as we zoom in on the head there. Uh, small lamination, it is graded at a mint state 64, so pretty uh, good condition for a coin like this. And this coin ended up selling for $120. So feel free to check out my other Walking Liberty half dollar coin videos, my penny videos, my more modern coin videos, coins that you can look for in your everyday pocket change uh, that are worth money. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Feel free to check out those videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I'll see you guys in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.